All praises be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We come to you this morning as humble servants, blessed with the opportunity of sharing the Word of God as it was intended just from His Word. And we have provided a PDF uh, below this message uh, as for the, with the commentary so that if you don't have full understanding, you can read what uh, people much smarter than us um, have decided to share so that you will have insight. Today we're reading from Genesis chapter 38 and the topic of this chapter is Judah and Tamar. Verse one. At that time, Judah left his brothers and went down to stay with a man of Adullam named Hira. Verse 2. There Judah met the daughter of a Canaanite man named Shua. He married her and made love to her. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son who was named Ur. Verse 4. She conceived again and gave birth to a son and named him Onan. Verse 5. She gave birth to still another son and named him Shalah. It was at Gazeb that she gave birth to him. Verse 6. Judah got a wife for Ur, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. Verse 7, But Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the Lord's sight. So the Lord put him to death. Verse 8, Then Judah said to Onan, Sleep with your brother's wife, and fulfill your duty to her as a brother-in-law to raise up offspring for your brother. Verse 9, But Onan knew that the child would not be his. So whenever he slept with his brother's wife, he spilled his semen on the ground to keep from providing offspring for his brother. Verse 10. What he did was wicked in the Lord's sight. So the Lord put him to death also. Verse 11, Judah then said to his daughter-in-law, Tamar, Live as a widow in your father's household until my son Shalak grows up. For he thought he may die too, just like his brothers. So Tamar went to live with her father's household. Verse 12, After a long time, Judah's wife, the daughter of Shua died. When Judah had recovered from his grief, he went up to Timnah to the men who were shearing his sheep, and his friend Hira, the Adulamite, went with him. Verse 13. When Tamar was told, Your father-in-law is on his way to Timnah to shear his sheep, verse 14, she took off her widow's clothes, covered herself with a veil to disguise herself, and then sat down at the entrance to Enim, which is on the road to Timnah. For she saw that though Shalah had not grown up, she had not been given to him as his wife. Verse 15, when Judah saw her, he thought she was a prostitute, for she had covered her face. Verse 16. Not realizing that she was his daughter-in-law, he went over to her by the roadside and said, Come now, let me sleep with you. And what will you give me to sleep with you? She asked. Verse 17. I'll send you a young goat from my flock, he said. Will you give me something as a pledge until you send it, she asked. He said, what pledge should I give you? 
your seal and its cord, and the staff in your hand. She answered. So he gave them to her and slept with her, and she became pregnant by him. Verse 19, after she left, she took off her veil and put on her widow's clothes again. Verse 20, meanwhile, Judah sent the young goat by his friend the Adulamite in order to get his pledge back from the woman, but he did not find her. Verse 21, he asked the men who lived there, where is the shrine prostitute who was beside the road at Enum? There hasn't been any shrine prostitute here, they said. Verse 22. So he went back to Judah and said, I didn't find her. Besides, the men who lived there said, There hasn't been any shrine prostitute here. Verse 23. Then Judah said, Let her keep what she has, or we will become a laughing stock. After all, I did send her this young goat but you didn't find her. Verse 24, about three months later, Judah was told your daughter-in-law Tamar is guilty of prostitution. And as a result, she is now pregnant. Judah said, bring her out and have her burn to death. Verse 25, as she was being brought out, she sent a message to her father-in-law. I am pregnant by the man who owns these, she said. And she added, see if you recognize whose seal and cord and staff these are. Verse 26, Judah recognized them and said, she is more righteous than I, since I wouldn't give her to my son Shalot, and he did not sleep with her again. Verse 27, when the time came for her to give birth, there were twin boys in her womb. Verse 28, as she was giving birth, one of them put out his hand, so the midwife took a scarlet thread and tied it to his wrist and said, this one came out first. Verse 29, but when he drew back his hand, his brother came out and she said, so this is how you have broken out, and he was named Perez. Verse 30, then his brother, who had the scarlet thread on his wrist, came out, and he was named Zerah. We pray to God that he receive the reading of these words for his glory, and for his honor always, in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And we pray that the reading of this passage will be a blessing to you all. This is the end of the reading of chapter 38. We are a young channel, so please check the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.